the gift. On this Christmas morning, the present has arrived. It has come from a remote little town in the middle in the Middle East, Bethlehem. Where is that? You wonder. And then you think, I don't know anyone in Bethlehem. The package arrived by UPS. It was in a simple little brown box, lacking even the Amazon smile. And within the box is another plain brown box, wrapped with strands of raffia and burlap as ribbon. And there are bits of straw clinging to the bow. And you untie the bow, you lift the lid up from the box, and you get a glimpse of a baby as the whole world changes. It's as if all the light in the universe is revealed. And as you gaze at it, all the light there is, as you gaze at all the light there is, what might you be experiencing? As hope, peace, joy, and love are released and you are enveloped by them in this sense of warmth and belonging and acceptance, knowing for an instant, just for that moment, that your being is part of all that is, ever has been, and ever will be. And perhaps you grasp for a second the enormity of being, just being here in this place, in this time. The experience of the present is so incredible, you may find yourself having to close the lid before you completely give yourself over to the greatest gift ever given. Or you might come back and just kind of lift that lid every now and then to get just to have that sense for one second, and then it's like, oh, it's too much, gotta put it back. The gift is the eternal word. It is an experience of God being with us, Emmanuel. Yet all you are able to do is point to the gift, utterly speechless. And we hear the words of the Gospel of John giving voice to the mystery of what we've experienced. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things came to being in, into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. And what has come into being in, his, in him was life, and life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. You know, this is a dance between stories. The story of Genesis, the very beginning of all creation. The story of John, which is just this lovely poetry that if you want things laid out, tightened up, buttoned down, you're not going to get it in John. John's going to take you into the wonder and the mystery of all there is. But this is the one that we've been expecting. And he comes, he comes as a small child, that something that we can grasp and embrace and understand. And yet, he invites us into that deeper place of wondering about all there is, the grandeur of God in all creation. You know, we don't often think about, but there are only all the molecules in the earth, in all creation, are set. If you listen to those people, those who are of science, who, and forgive me, I should know this, I have it, but I don't have it. That, you know, there's only so many of the elements, like hydrogen and helium, I think, are the two core elements of all creation, and they're set. So we are part, our very beings are part of that very first moment. To 
because they're neither created or uncreated except by God. But we have this wonderful gift here. And we struggle with it, don't we? I was thinking, as I was working on this, I was like, we put God in a box, don't we? We take God out when God is convenient. We take Jesus out when Jesus is convenient. But the mystery is so beautiful and so great that we live into it and we remember it every year. We meet the baby in the manger and we come to this place of exploring and wondering and being drawn into the mystery of all that is. And we celebrate with all creation as our psalm lays out so beautifully. All creation celebrates God and we do too. And as we struggle, we sing hymns because hymns help us get the story and lay it out in a way we can understand and speaks to our hearts in little bites, in little melodies, to be drawn into God even more. So may we always lift our voices in joy and find our way into this deep mystery, continuing to open the lid off the box, perhaps each time leaving it open a little bit longer until we are totally embraced and enveloped back into the beautiful light of all creation. Amen.